Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Yeah. Nice yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. It was inevitably late. So uh, let's start. My name is Hyun Kyung Kim. I am a professor of Jeonbuk National University. I'm hosting of the pre-recorded presentation session. Okay. Uh, could you show me the timetable? Uh, okay. Yun, okay. Uh, timetable, please. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, the operation of this session is to first watch the pre-recorded videos together, then ask a simple question and move a uh, question, short, short question, and and then uh, ask us uh, and move to the next uh, presentation. After watching five uh, video presentations in 60 minutes, you will have uh, 10 minutes intermission time. Intermission time. After that, after listening to the two presentations, we will have a uh, discuss for the remaining uh, 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. So I want to proceed according to the timetable here, but after the presentation, I want to operate flexibly when a few questions get longer. Is everyone okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. And uh, let's share the video now. The video we shared is not smooth due to buffering issues, you know, as you know. So. You should in individually watch the footage with your devices. Okay? okay. However, although you do it so, please always link with the Zoom. Okay. And uh, first pre presentation. Uh, is there a Songi Kim? Doctor Ki Doctor Kim? No. I think no. No, no, no. So uh, we'd better we'd better show the second second presentation, okay? Uh, in the second uh, in the second presentation, we'll watch a video on YouTube 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 about promoting creative education through after school learning program with body frame case study in uh, Bandung, Indonesia. Okay, so please, uh, 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 which was studied by Alfianza Sandion Krakoso and Anti Haryanti Irma Rama Swama. Okay, okay, uh, okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. And please show, uh, show the uh, presentation. Dr. Yoon, yes. uh, uh, could you show me the first uh, capture on YouTube okay. capture? Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, your first presentation. Okay. Okay. Second presentation, please. Okay. Okay, let's watch the uh, presentation on YouTube individually. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Alfie from For the Frame Education Center at UP. Today, I'll, today I'll be giving a short presentation on promoting creative education through after school learning program with 40 frame. This is a case study in Bandung. Let's now move into why we did this research. Okay. This research begins from our concern about our worries about condition in Indonesia, the education condition in Indonesia. Here we saw many school and a lot of teacher still put grades over everything. Like 
students who have good grades like be the teacher and school are competing for the top ranking to get more students and the students are competing in national level exam to get high score as possible so they can get into the reputable public universities we worry about something more important than knowledge than the grades like skills and life skill that will help students to face their future like uh, problem solving skill like creativity skills like collaborative problem solving skills uh, that's one of the reason why for the frame education center up starts launching a program called young stem program this is an after school program that focuses on practicing problem solving skill uh, as well as creativity through stem approach using for reframe as a learning media therefore the part the purpose of this study is to explore whether creativity can be cultivate, cultivated through uh, after school learning program and how the development of students' creativity during this young STEM program. And this is how we conduct this research. Uh, in 40 frame center, we have two classes the mechatronic classes and the creativity classes but the participants who took part in this research were the students the students of uh, creativity class the, this class consists of 17 students uh, 8 boys and 9 girls from grade 4 to grade uh, 7 this activity was held at the museum at UP every Saturday um, twice a month uh, and for about 3 months for about three months, students are provided with several um, topics that they need to work on together with their team, uh, starting from um, giving a problem, discussing possible ide ideas, explaining the science and math behind, uh, designing, uh, creating, uh, testing, and finally presenting about their work in front of the classes. And later, at the end of the term, we held an exhibition. The topic that were given to this class uh, are uh, catapults, automata, uh, bridge, and rolling ball. Let's now move on the on to result or finding of this research. The first uh, topic discussed during the lesson was about the energy, which related to catapults. Students are asked to design a catapult using for the frame that can shoot a ping pong ball towards a target at a certain distance. The next time was automata, which students asked to make a figure or a machine that could move on its own. There are no restrictions on creating this automata. Uh, the ideas put forward by students are also vary from a crocodile to a water wheel. Each group has a different idea. Even some students have been able to give the purpose of what they are going to make which is a positive thing for them for them the next time uh, rice is bridge and one of the reason why this time was uh, rice is become there are so many regions in Indonesia that are connected connected by bridge to support uh, the economy of the area unfortunately there are still many bridge that are inadequate, threatening the, the lives of their user in this time. Uh, the students are asked to build a strong bridge to help transportation in, uh, in that area that are need using for different. Before move into the conclusion, I'd like to discuss some findings in this research. Um, result of this study, indeed, indeed do not show strong evidence through students improving in creativity but we found that there is a potential to improve students creativity through this program there are several factors that might influence the result such as seriousness of students to fill out the worksheet often often uh, we found that group work to members are very creative 
are actually not good at filling out worksheet. There are many factors, there are many factors which need to be explored further. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the third meeting was the time when the coronavirus outbreak started in Bandung. So there were instructions from the university to postpone uh, any activities that were together people. And we had to continue the, the last the topic, which is rolling ball and the exhibition um, with online meeting through Zoom. This sudden change in situation also has a lot of impact on the way uh, of teaching, of the way we teaching and the way students respond uh, to the lesson. Because after all, the learning situation has changed. Technical problems such as internet connection stability often for us to uh, repeat uh, spoken instruction or question. We also feel uh, this is uh, affect the pace of learning. Uh, however, we are quite satisfied with the result obtained amidst this outbreak. In conclusion, I'd like to say uh, the result obtained indicate that after school program using for the frame uh, in our program has the potential to improve students' creativity skills. Uh, looking from overall aspect of creativity assess, as well as from the three learning topics given, it is evident that there is a tendency to experience an increase, especially in this aspect of fluency of uh, creating ideas and ability to elaborate on these ideas into more detail. Uh, but apparently, for the aspect of flexibility and the originality, it still depends on the topic given. Uh, maybe that's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any question, uh, I'll be happy to uh, answer them. Uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Oh, did you watch the uh, uh, presentation too already? Okay. Uh, and thank you for presentation. The second presentation was an after school program in Bandung, Indonesia, called the Young STEM program, which you used to, for the frames as a learning medium. And through this, efforts were made to train students' skills. Okay? And do you have any questions? Do you have any questions for presentation two? Not yet. I have many questions, mm -hmm. but uh, okay. But uh, we'd better discuss later, and then uh, we'd better uh, watch the next presentation, number three. Is it okay for timetable? According to the timetable, okay. Is it okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Let's uh, let's watch the number three uh, number three presentation. Presentation three is uh, 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 Susa da uh, da da de art critic, pedagogy, and Janos Saxon artist and inventor at Poly Universe Hungary. We we'll listen to the presentation of the PUSE Pius. Poly Universe in School Education, Methodology by Artists and Inventors. Hello. We would like to introduce you now the Poly Universe game and the Pew's methodology in mathematics education. Today's children stand in a new relationship to the world. They are citizens of the global village, living in the endless web of connections, interconnections and intersections. As a result, the educational system as a whole, including the teaching profession and teacher education, is challenged. New questions require new answers. The system of expectations and compliances where teachers and children used to be caught up in is getting looser 
and the student-teacher relationship in many cases turns into fruitful cooperation. Teachers aiming at successful collaborations search for new tools and methods everywhere in the world. The present publication, The Pew's Educational Methodology, which is based on a polyuniverse skill development tool, presents one possible solution in this process. The polyuniverse geometric skill development tool was invented by visual artist Janusz Saxon Sass. The novelty of the game lies in the scale shift symmetry of the basic shapes, circle, triangle, square and in the color combination system attached to it. Although the tool consists of truly simple elements and attributes, basic shapes, basic colors, proportions, it is at the same time also extremely complex. Because by shifting proportions and changing color combinations and the relationships, the number of possible solutions becomes virtually endless. That is why the polyuniverse is more than play, more than art, more than maths. It includes all synergy in education. The Erasmus Pews Polyuniverse in School Education project was the first step taken to map how polyuniverse's artistic scientific approach could enter the gates of mathematics education. Its necessity was proven by workshops held in dozens of countries, by the participation in math art conferences and, last but not least, by the research project of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences. Mathematics is one of the key competencies. The teaching of primary and secondary school mathematics as an ab abstract science, which involves traditional tools and methods, is outdated. Many have recognized how important it is to raise children's curiosity and motivation, to be interactive and make use of experience-centered education. Imagination and discovery claim more space, while students need more encouragement in mathematical problem-solving so that they can recognize connections, instead of submerging in the abstract world of numbers, between visual and tangible patterns and find creative, playful solutions teaching to see, learning through sight. Erasmus Pius' goal was to develop a geometric combinatorial educational method, primarily for mathematics education based on a visual system. The outcome of the project is an educational methodology and student workbook published both in Hungarian and in English. Moreover, an interactive platform, an expandable online source of exercises, www.polyuniverse.com. The Pew's methodology book consists of five main thematic units. Combinatorics, probability calculation, geometry, measurement, sets, logic, graphs, algorithm, Complex, visuality, interdisciplinary. Polyuniverse workshops and conferences preceding the Erasmus research made it clear that Polyuniverse does raise the interest in a wide spectrum, from kindergarten to university, one might say. Based on this experience, the Pew's educational methodology and student workbook target three different age groups primary school lower grades upper grades and high school students. Our goal was to compile exercises and exercise series which encourage further thinking and raise new questions instead of closing all thoughts after the solution is found. The Poly Universe, rooted in a special artistic vision, does not only inspire mathematics but also triggers interdisciplinarity. Without affecting either Polyuniverse's artistic background or its physical characteristics, the use of the th free online mathematical application called GeoGebra in the book expands the use of Polyuniverse in mathematics.
Going beyond educational aspects, the need arose to map connections between the tool and psychology. So we included a game research expert in the project as well. Measurement results show that Paul Universe effectively develops cognitive areas such as visual perception and related skills. There is also a traceable increase in attention capacity. Moreover, based on surveys and interviews with experts, the impact of the tool manifested in areas such as creativity, mathematical and logical thinking or social skills. Using the tool in group work helps mapping in-group processes as well. In the course of observa observations, intentionally or not, participants' roles and quality of their cooperation became manifest. The Pew's methodological book doesn't claim completeness. In other words, it is not a closed collection of exercises. This couldn't have been its purpose. The polyuniverse, in fact, is not simply a tangible tool or a closed system puzzle, but an open math-art system which models the universe, allowing a glimpse into its internal laws. This book is a beginning, just like Christopher Columbus's undertaking once was, who was fur to cross the ocean to let others follow, following his footsteps, discover America. The Pew's methodology book opens up the way for teachers and students, artists and scientists. We can all enter into Pauli Universe's spacious world, explore its complex realm, further discover its laws and regulations. While Poly Universe offers scale shift, the methodology based on the tool offers a change of attitude for today's educational system, not in order to achieve small, medium or large bits of knowledge, but endless knowledge. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your presentation. The third presentation was the one that developed the Pew's methodology. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoy it. And do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Next. I I have many questions, but do you have any questions? No? Okay, so I am managing, I am managing uh, your time schedule as a host. So time is uh, reasonable and and then uh, this time is uh, 5 uh, uh, 51 so we'd better uh, watch the next presentation uh, this one okay ah uh, is there any doctor Kim no Yun Yongo Nim Kim Sung Kim Sung Kim Sung Kim Sung Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. First presenter is not here, so uh, I checked. Okay, sorry. And next, uh, we'd better watch the this uh, uh, presentation. The uh, first first uh, presentation. Uh, uh, in the first presentation, we listen to the presentation of the pre-service teacher perception toward the STEM integration in science learning at COVID-19 pandemic era, which was studied by Liandia and Irma Rama Shurama, Shurama and Anna Pomansaria. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. we'd better watch the uh, presentation on YouTube. Hello, everyone. My name is Irma. I will be the representative of Mr. Riandi in presenting our research result about pre service teacher perception towards STEM integrations in science learning at COVID 19 pandemic. Hello everyone, my name is Irma. I will be the representative of Mr. Riandi in presenting our research result about pre-service teacher perception towards STEM integrations in science learning at COVID-19 pandemic era.
The global educational reform is an impact of development in science and technology. In fact, the growing it's growing slower since the pandemic COVID-19 have been attacking human life. The educators also have to adapt to the current situation. Why? Because education also gets its impacts. Many teachers should adapt new learning strategy in facing the pandemic era. Variety education problem occurs in Indonesia related to the economy issue and also environment impact because of its pandemic era. But we here we won't discuss all about it. We will focus on our preliminary result we our study related to the STEM perspective. Why? Do you still remember about the this famous quote from Albert Einstein? He said that education is not the beginning, the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. So therefore we are developing new strategy in preparing pre-service teacher professional development program and to in order to initiate the development processes we conduct surveys on pre-service teacher perception towards STEM integration in science learning and the purpose is to identify their initial attitude before they build science lesson plan we design the result using the result using descriptive research through a survey method and then we invited 37 uh, free service teachers at seven semester undergraduate students and we develop the semantic questionnaire that consists of 14 word pairs and then we analyze it using comparative analysis result among teachers and pre service teachers or the students so here we give the questionnaire to the teacher who already implementing stem learning in the class and also to the pre service teacher then we compare uh, the two of the data and then here are uh, the integrations uh, questionnaire. So for the example, we have two words here, two pairs, two word pairs here. Uh, for example, unpeeling and appealing, and then also mean nothing and uh, important. So if the student choose three, so it means they we categorize them into the undefined, and then when they choose ones, we categorize them into have a negative uh, perceptions, and then two for the less negative, and the four for, and the four for the uh, less positive, and then five is for the positive one. And then here are the result. For the positive perception, we can see that. Uh, the largest number or the highest number of the teacher about 25 teacher agree or give a positive perception toward the harmful and beneficial it means that things that stem integration in the in the science learning give a beneficial impact and for the student they give the highest number uh, or the highest number of the students give a positive uh, perception in the slow and fast words. It means that they think STEM integrations in the science learning need a fast response. And the smaller one, the smallest number of the students give the positive uh, perception toward the strange and familiar. It means the pre-service teachers still think that STEM integration in science learning as a stranger one or still un un unfamiliar for them. And then for the less positive, we can found that the highest number of teachers, about 22 teachers, are perceived also the same just like the, uh, the pre-service teacher. That STEM integration need the fast response and for the student they also think or perceive that uh, the stem integration have the beneficial impact for the student in science learning and then we can found here also in 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 the undivine perceptions that most of teachers and also students or pre-service teachers give the same uh, attitude toward the word mysterious and understandable. It means they perceive that STEM integration in learning process is not so mysterious and also not so confusing. It means that it still can be understandable. So in the conclusion, the results show that 
most of students give positive attitude in preserving STEM as a necessary, enjoying, beneficial, active, understandable, common, strong, and deep integration in science learning. However, some of them perceive difficulty, complexity, and efficiency and at its integrations. The comparative results show that pre-service teachers perceive lower than the teachers did. That's all from us. Thank you very much. Come Sahamida. Okay, have you seen it all? And uh, thank you for presentation. Uh, the uh, for, uh, first presentation was a timely study of what to do in the pandemic era. And uh, you, uh, you enjoyed it, uh, didn't you? <laughs> and uh, sorry, uh, after the third presentation, uh, Alpia, Nasha, Sandion, uh, Prokoso had a question, but I'm sorry, I missed it. Alpia, Nasha, Sandion, okay, so uh, can you ask a question about third presentation? No, it's... yes, I have a question for the okay, third okay. presentation. Uh, third presentation, Puss methodology, okay? Okay, go ahead. Ross, thank you for the time to give me opportunity to ask. Uh, I'm very curious about the Pius methodology. Okay. Uh, mm. There is any... What is online version or a mobile version of this what i say um geometric puzzle uh, mathematics methodology game okay you done so to suza tatai is there a uh, Suza Dadai? Uh, uh, third presenter. Who's the third presenter? I think she's not here. Oh, she's not here? Oh, so, okay. Sorry. Okay, later, later, okay. Later, uh, let's uh, discuss uh, on later, okay? Sorry. And uh, do you have any questions? Of uh, at uh, for for uh, first presentation, presenters for. Do you have any questions for for presentation? No. No. Okay, I have a question, but I I will uh, uh, ask to later. Okay, and uh, okay, and uh, let's uh, 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 Fifth, fifth presentation. This, uh, this one, right? Okay. And in the fifth presentation, we'll hear about the teachers' self-reflective in understanding, defining, and solving problem as STEM education training activity, studied by Aida Kanyawatia and Irma Shwaram. Sharma and Andy Shindye. Andy Shindye, oh, Rama. Okay, okay, okay. So let's uh, watch the presentation on YouTube. YouTube. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hoping that all of you are in the good health and conditions. Today, we are from UPI. Ida Kanyawati, Irma Rama Suwarma, and Andy Swendi will try to share you about our research result related to the teacher self-reflective in understanding, divining, and solving problem at STEM education teacher training activities. The spread of STEM education in Indonesia is become our research background. Since 2015 until 2020, STEM education's 
have been implemented in some level of Indonesia at the several islands. So start from uh, Java Island, East Java, and then West Java, and then it's moved to the Sumatra Islands in the north part and also in the south part, and also in the Kalimantan Islands, Sulawesi Islands. And all of these STEM teachers, uh, teacher spread uh, was promoted or uh, triggered the STEM teacher training activity with the new program. So most of teacher activity are now integrated the STEM education program. So here we are conducted the uh, teacher activity related to STEM education. So you can watch it in our YouTube channels, uh, STEM Center OP channels. So let's watch it. This teacher training activity, the teacher was give an activity to have an experience to be an engineer. They will give uh, some activity to build up the prototype using 40 frame. They build the DNA and then uh, a meal and also. Here we are discussed work in the group to create a good prototype for a better result. So they give a challenge to create a best uh, proposed type result. They train to design, build and testing. The prototype. All of the teachers are enjoying this activity, especially because of uh, for the frame is the new learning media for them. Testing sessions, they continue the session by presenting their prototype result. So each group present their best result by explaining why they design like this and what is the purpose and how is the result. So explaining the next plan of the STEM implementation in the school. Hopefully, this activity could improve students and teachers uh, knowledge about how to implement STEM in the class using for the plan. After the teacher training activities, all teachers filled in the self-reflected assessment that consists of three questions related to their understanding, skills, and then the, their skills in defining problems and also their skill in solving the problems. The results show that all of uh, the three activities have a very significant differences statistically, especially for divining and solving problems. But there is no significant differences in understanding uh, criteria or in understanding uh, aspects. It means that all teachers have the different impacts 
from these teacher trainings, especially in understanding aspect. It means that all teachers have the same understanding about STEM education after the teacher training program. However, they have different uh, type of defining problem skill and also problem solving skill in these two kind of aspects. That's all is our uh, result finding. Hopefully, it will give you more information about Indonesian's implementations about STEM education. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Kamsa Hamida. So, uh, have you seen it all? And uh, in the fifth presentation, We'll hear about the teacher's self reflective in understanding and defining and solving problems in STEM education. Okay, ah, sorry. Thank you for presentation. Oh, sorry. Please understand my mistake. Okay, sorry. Uh, thank you for presentation. And uh, this fifth presentation is about the implementation of a teaching training using a 4D framework structure in Indonesia. And it is said that understanding problem and definition, definition and measurement of problem solving have yielded meaningful results. Okay, and any other questions? Any other questions? Do you have any questions? No? Still, I have many questions, but <laughs> I'd like to discuss uh, about later. And uh, and then, uh, uh, okay. We have two minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, my question is, how did you measure understanding and problem definition and problem solving to uh, Aida? Uh, Aida? Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, my question is, how did you measure understanding and problem definition and problem solving Okay, I uh, measure with uh, the, some uh, instrument about the three aspects uh, uh, with the questionnaire, open questionnaire. Uh -huh. okay. uh, three kinds. Uh, three kinds. Yeah, three kinds uh, mm -hmm. about the understanding and. Self reflection paper? Uh, Self reflection yeah. paper? Yes. Yes, uh -huh, uh, uh -huh, there, there uh -huh. are the like worksheet, like uh -huh. uh, questionnaire, and uh, we we give some square, uh, and uh, the teacher give the some uh, answer, and uh, that question, and we have uh, and uh, we analyze uh, for uh, all of uh, from uh, answer from we analyze from uh -huh. uh, the answer. Okay. Them and mm. uh, the result is uh, already present on the on the YouTube mm. channel. Yeah. Okay. Good. But it sounds like a qualitative study. Qualitative yes. study. Yes. But how did you treat it as a quantitative study? How did you get statistically significant results? Okay. The the answer uh, we. Analyze with the scoring about the uh -huh. uh, respond uh, from the uh, the teacher, uh -huh. and uh, we uh, test about how the significant uh, for each other the aspect. Uh -huh. okay. How many samples are there? How many samples? Uh, the sample is about. Uh, Oh, Irma, about, about how okay. many? So the sample is around uh, 50 teachers. 50, okay. in uh, yeah. 50, uh, 50 teachers, actually. Uh, 50, 50, yeah. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, yeah, 50, uh, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, okay, okay, yeah, so reasonable, okay. Uh, reasonable, okay. okay, good. And then we, uh, we build up a rubric 
uh, about yeah. uh, this under the, their answer. So we create a rubric to identify their understanding, their, mm. their defining problem, and also they're solving the problem. So we work from the rubric that we develop. Okay, you did your good job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now is uh, uh, the time is uh, six fifteen. Six fifteen at Korean time, and uh, we'd better have an intermission until uh, 60, uh, 6 to twenty five. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes intermission, and uh, at the discussion time, you'd better use the PPT. PPT. You can share the PPT presentation PPT uh, at the uh, screen. Okay? okay, okay. After ten minutes, uh, we will see you later. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, did you have a good intermission? Not yet. <laughs> Uh, come on. Okay, thank you. Welcome, Aida. Welcome, Hi. 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 Welcome, Hi. Aida. Uh -huh. uh, welcome, Iruma. Iruma. Welcome. Hi, hello. Hello, <laughs> hello. Uh, Rama. Yes. Uh, how can uh, Rama? Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, how can I call you Alfian Sha Sandia on practice? How can I call you your name? Just call me Alfie. Alfie? Alfie. Alfie. Yeah. Good name, Alfie. Good. Good name, Alfie. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, welcome. You box a name, Jogi, Chuchik, there. 네, 지금 네. 다 들어왔나요? 네, 다 들어왔습니다. 네. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. <웃음> Thank you. Um, Thank you join again and uh for the sixth uh, presentation, uh we we'll listen to the development and application of a STEAM education program using smart devices for the first uh, industrial revolution which was studied by Eunji Kim and me. And this video is for nine, minute, nine minutes. So see you at June in after 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Okay, uh, let's, let's watch the uh, video. Hello, I am Ji Kim, a graduate student at Jeonbuk National University graduate school of education i am going to discuss the development and application of steam education program using smart devices for the fourth industrial revolution to begin with we better look at why this theme is important as you know, the first industrial revolution is a mechanical revolution based on steam engines. The second industrial revolution is a mass production revolution based on electric energy. And the third industrial revolution is a computer and internet based knowledge and information revolution. And we are moving toward the fourth industrial revolution based on informational technology such as IoT, AI, and big data. Many people say that education is preparation for the future society as the fourth 
industrial revolution and rapid technological development is necessary. However, there is still a lack of information on effective teaching strategies and forms of education using smart devices suitable for science class. In addition, contents and programs related to STEAM education using smart devices such as AR, VR, and AI are insufficient. Therefore, the main purpose of this study is to develop a program for science class using smart devices. And there is the ultimate purpose to find out the impact on student scientific attitudes, interests, and class participation, and to actively utilize them in science education. The research method is as follows. First, we analyze preceding research related to smart devices beyond advanced technologies such as AR and VR. In addition, we research it and identify the applications that can be used in class. Based on this, we develop a science class program using smart devices. After application, a study was conducted to investigate students' perception of the program. Let me introduce some of them. We developed educational program through Expert Council while exploring how to use the apps discovered during the investigation process. Science education experts, science teachers, and science pre-teachers are participated. The developed program is aimed at the 7th and 8th grade students who are not restricted by the curriculum. The theme of the developed program is metal and thermal conductivity. Among them, the program is shown in the following table and for 4 hours class. There are three applications used in the class, and the introduction and installation of application to be used in the class before the class starts. After that, we start the class by watching a video related to what we will learn today. Activity 1 is Let's become an alchemistry. We will make metal and gold using four kinds of water, fire, earth, and air through applications. It aims to motivate and increase students' interest. Activity 2 is Finding metals around us. Think about what kinds of metals are and use VR to find the metals around us. First, have students look for objects with metals on their own. After that, it explains what metals elements it contains. The goal is to find out the types and uses of metals. Next, activity 3 is particle motion of metal. After explaining the characteristics and heat of the metal, find differences when the same metal is at different temperature. And they can observe particle motion when metal with different temperature are meet throughout the air. Guide students to discover differences for themselves. This helps to understand the motion of particles that the eye cannot see. After that, it explains the motion of the particles and concludes the class by organizing the theory through the final video. This is the questionnaire that we took after class. A survey was conducted after class for 8 gifted students. This is a pilot test 
and the results of analyzing the questionnaire after class are as follows. Out of five points, the highest score came out with above four points in terms of interest, confidence, and participation. On the other hand, the lowest score came out in terms of job and development. The students' perceptions of the class are as follows. It was nice to have an experiment that I couldn't normally do through a class using smart devices. The app that showed the particles motion. I understood quickly because I could see in myself. There are positive answers. But there were also answers that could be helpful in further research, such as if there were devices other than just VR, it would be more fruitful. My mobile phone is not VR. I would like to conclude my presentation. AR and VR have the advantage of being able to see or experience actions that the eye cannot see or experience, such as particle motion or places that cannot be visited. These advantages are great for teaching. Nevertheless, as a result of the analysis, content, and programs, Centered on chemistry, among convergence education programs are very insufficient. Therefore, it is urgent to develop a program using smart devices to be used in chemistry education. In addition, it is suggested that facilities and equipment in schools for future convergence education need to be prepared and related content development is necessary. Thank you for listening. Okay, have you seen it all? Okay, uh, this is 10 minutes later. Okay, thank you for presentation. This study is the result of a study conducted by the uh, graduate students I teach. So there is a problem with the small samples due to uh, school circumstances. The final test has been conducted now, and further research will be conducted for pre-service or incumbent teachers. Okay? Do you have any questions? No? No? Do you have any questions? Okay, we'd better see the next presentation and then uh, discuss later. So, uh, the seventh uh, presentation is uh, Pete, Peter ne uh, Negesia. How can I call your name, Peter? Peter? Uh, Peter, we will be well. Ah, Peter, Peter Nigliesi. Peter, Peter? Okay. Can I call you Peter? Yes, Peter? thank you. Okay, yes. thank you. Okay, Peter. And Ilona, Olena, Telgastia, PhD. It's a diff difficult name for me. And Leka, Lakso, PhD. And okay, this video is for 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes. So see you at June in uh, 13 minutes. So this time is 6.40 and 13 minutes later, we'll see at June. Okay, let's see at YouTube individually. Okay, okay. okay thank you. I greet everyone with great respect. 
My name is Peter Nejeshi. I received the Bachelor of Science degree in I greet everyone with great respect. My name is Peter Nejeshi. I received the Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics from Esterházy Cairo University in 2017 and the Master of Education degree in Teaching of Informatics and Teaching of Mathematics from Esterházy Cairo University as well in 2020. Currently, I am a PhD student at the Esterházy Cairo University and have been working as a primary school teacher majoring in mathematics and computer science for five years. My research fields are developing mathematical web applications and e-learning environments which support adaptability and problem solving. This is the first time I have attended this prestigious conference, which is a great honor for me. Given the COVID situation, my presentation will be held online in pre-recorded format. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the organizers for their work and help in making my presentation run smoothly. I hope that my performance will still be enjoyable by everyone. Our research topic is high school application of a mathematical software supporting problem solving. So, let's see the structure uh, of the presentation. In the introduction, we are going to talk about how we got to the point of trying to develop a new teaching strategy, about the aspects of our pre-research phase and the main hypothesis of our research. And we are going to put our objectives under scatini. We then move on to the research methods and the materials used in our research. We are going to take a closer look at the results obtained through statistical analysis, draw the appropriate conclusions, and finally, I'm going to say a few words about our future plans. Student motivation is one of the most critical issues in the entire education system today, especially in the field of mathematics. Their attention is precisely focused only when the information is delivered through pictures or videos. However, they only be able to concentrate for a short period of time. Um, because conventional methods appear to be less effective in reusing their interest, there is a need to develop new strategies. Poya pointed out that solving a problem equals to finding a way out from a difficult situation, achieving a goal that we would otherwise haven't been able to reach directly. For this purpose, collaboration between students might be a useful way that requires the provisions of the provision of interfaces and tools. Previous surveys have shown that number theory education in high schools is extremely deplorable. Critical thinking is essential for learning number theory, uh, therefore using smartphones can be useful for mathematics education as it also develops algorithmic thinking, logical thinking and the ability to concentrate with appropriate web tools. Web-based visual ads not only encourage students but also promote the development of their critical thinking. To support this idea, we developed the website prepared a collection of number theory tasks and created a cooperation interface. I would like to encourage the esteemed audience to visit my website during my presentation, whether from a mobile phone or a tablet. Unfortunately, the site is only available in Hungarian language, but the possibility of multilingualism will soon be available. In the present study, we aim to investigate whether our custom-made website may support the, the, the problem-solving strategy of high school students in number theory-related mathematical tasks. We hypothesized that our web applications and collaborative interface will support students' efficiency in solving the task collection, indicating that topics not found in most of the high school uh, curriculum can be successfully introduced into education. The primary goal of our research is to emphasize the use of ICT tools in mathematics education by optimizing our web applications for computers, smartphones and tablets in terms of both appearance and functionality. In addition, our undisguised goals are to reuse students' interest and increase their motivation. 
9 to 11th graders were randomly assigned to an experimental uh, or control group with the involvement of their mathematics teachers. Member, members of experimental uh, group and their teachers had access to our website during the teaching process of the new topics, while members of the control group and their teachers couldn't use it. The process thing took place in six 45-minute uh, lessons, and then, with the help of the worksheet generating application in our website, the students had to solve a printed uh, six-task intermediate level worksheet on their own. Students completed the same worksheet in each school, and they uh, could receive a maximum of eight points for the solutions. The intermediate level task worksheet included the following task. Task 1. A picture of each student in the graduating classes is placed in the school yearbook. They want to place the images by department separately to each line have the same number of images. How many is the maximum number of images they can put in a row if there are 30 and 25 members in the classes? Task 2. Marilyn the wizard delighted King Arthur with the following interesting task. On Avalon Island you can only pay with silver coins equivalent to 115 and uh, 50 cents. Can a product cost 1,100 cents and how many different ways can it be paid out? Task 3. The screen aspect ratio of a traditional TV is 4 to 3. Screen sizes are usually characterized by the length of the diagonal. How wide and how high a screen with a diagonal length of 55 cm? Task 4. What are positive integers that have exactly 4 positive divisors and their sum equals with 84? Task 5. Is there a square number among the perfect numbers? Task 6. The measures of the edges of a rectangle are integers. Adding, adding the measures of the volume, volume of the rectangle, half its surface, and the length of the edges starting from one vertex, we get 2014. What are the edges of the rectangle? In line with the requests from the participating high schools, the examinations were carried out between 10th of February in 2020 till uh, 28th of February in 2020, uh, which period includes both the evaluation of the worksheets and the statistical analy analysis, uh, for example, data cleaning, cleaning out outliers, uh, and statistical tests. To determine the differences between the two groups' overall results, Manvit new test was performed. For a more detailed analysis, we ran Kruskal-Wallis test to determine whether subjects in the experimental group and control group had different results in each task. Statistical significance was set at 0.05. Results were interpreted by 95% confidence intervals. At the end of our study, we conducted interviews with participants and requested written professional reports from the teachers involved in our research. So, let's see our overall results. Man Whitney uh, U test revealed better overall results for students in experimental group as compared to control group. OP is less than 0.001. Significant differences between medians are clearly visible. Our initial hypothesis was confirmed. Moreover, Kruskal uh, Wallis tests showed that students in experimental group versus in control group had higher points in each task. OAP is less than 0.05, indicating the success of our website. Significant differences between medians are also shown for each task. Uh, this also uh, support, uh, supports the correctness of our main hypothesis.
and these are the differences between medians per task. In line with our hypothesis, participants in experimental group had better overall results as compared to control group, indicating that our web applications can be efficiently used to successfully introduce new topics to mathematics education in high schools. We aim to increase the sample size by extending our study to 12th grade students. Moreover, our motivation is to develop additional web applications in our future studies. In addition, we also plan to compare data from intermediate and advanced number theory tasks to detect if the level of the task may affect the efficient application of our mathematical software. Finally, we also aim to develop an automatic monitoring evaluation system. Finally, a little bibliography that I would like to show to you. And I would like to thank you for your attention. Okay. Have you seen it all? Have you seen it all? Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you for presentation. Uh, we watched the presentation about the high school application of a mathematical software supporting problem solving. And have we any questions to seventh presentation? Okay, if you don't mind, may I ask questions? Okay. Oh, sure. Hello, okay. Hello, Peter. I'm Irma from Indonesia. This is a nice research result. Uh, thank you for your presentations. Uh, but I have uh, one question. I'm really wondering with your statistical method that you took a man with me uh, for your analysis uh, statistically. So what kind of consideration did you take? Why, why you take a man with me uh, statistical method to analyze your data? That's all. Thank you, Peter. Hi, thanks for your question. Uh, we, uh, we chose the, this uh, statistical analysis because uh, we have uh, independent samples. And uh, there were two groups, uh, the experimental group and the control group. And uh, this, uh, this, uh, this analysis was, uh, was the best choice for us to, to implement and show us the, 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 the the exact results of our um, experiment. Okay, thank you, Peter. Okay, uh, may I ask something to Peter? And uh, when trying to increase the sample size, I'm interested it to apply it to the 12, 12 boots uh, greater. 12 boots greater. So, because in Korea, uh, since 12 boots greater are uh, college entrance exam students, so it is difficult for using a study object. How about Hungary? Hungary is okay? Yes, uh, it's, it's a bit easier in Hungary and uh, um, uh, students uh, are so motivated when they learn and uh, and uh, experience the new method, and uh, they would like to do to participate in it. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, and uh, okay, let's start a discussion. So uh, feel free to ask questions about the presentation you were curious about. Okay. Okay. Feel free to ask questions. Oh, okay. Um, uh, IP asks to, to uh, third presentation, maybe third presentation. So, where is the third presenter? Susan Pierce methodology. 
she is not here. Oh, Sorry. really? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, okay. RP uh, asks, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Feel free to ask questions about the presentation you are curious about. you don't mind oh. i would like i really curious with the uh to the ng chem uh, presentations related to the, related to the uh, smart devices so i would like uh, to hear more uh, about what kind of uh, smart devices and then uh, could it be more improved than other smart devices or maybe she have another she have a real example about the smart devices that she mentioned in her presentation. Okay. Unji? Where is Unji? 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 <laughs> Unji? One second, please. Unji? And uh, uh, 은지야. 네. 어 여기 지금 줌 들어왔니? 네. 아 지금 잠깐 화장실. 아니 지금 너한테 지금... 질문했어. 들어와. 아, 빨리 들어와. 네. 어 너한테 질문했어. 빨리 와. 네. Just say complete. Uh, she. <웃음> okay. Uh, I call. Call her, okay, so later. Okay, Unjia. Yes. Oh, sorry. Hi, Unjia. Unjia. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, we can listen. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, Rama, 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 can you ask to her again? Okay, uh, okay. So Hello, NG. I'm Irma from Indonesia. I'm really interested with your research. Uh, can you explain me more about the smart devices that you use in your research? Unjia. Unjia? Oh, no, I have a smart gigi, young and good device to do a yegi that let program. Diga yogi chim, young goods to say that yegi jogi smart device that she get a lay. Sorry, understand for Korean communication, okay? Hango, ah, Hango Malo Maria, they are the Hesaki. Do you use smart gig? Yes, I use smart gig. Yes, I use smart gig. I use smart gig. Yes, I use smart gig. Yes, I use smart gig. Yes, I 모두 스마트 기기는 스마트폰이나 패드, 태블릿 PC로 다 가능한 어플이어서 음, 음. 스마트 기기로는 총두 개, 스마트폰이랑 태블릿 PC 두개 사용했습니다. 오케이. She use uh, she use the three smart device uh, for all chemist app 
and uh, uh, for conductivity app and mm -hmm. uh, for seeing the uh, metal. So uh, mm -hmm. she uh, she always uh, search the uh, apps, but uh, mm -hmm. there are a few apps uh, now. So mm -hmm. mm, uh, she is worried about that. And mm -hmm. uh, if uh, when when she search the app, but uh, 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 sometimes the app is closed. Okay? okay okay it's okay. a big problem for us mm -hmm. okay okay okay. Uh, okay okay so thank you uh, very much okay you're you're very welcome and okay uh, and is there any questions No questions. So fifth presenters, fifth presenters, Aida, Aida Kanyawati. Yes, I'm here. Okay, I have a question. Can okay. I ask you something? Okay. Uh, my uh, oh, already I did. Already I did. Okay. okay, 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 you're welcome, okay, and first grader, first presenter, first presenter, Riyandi, Riyandi, Iruma, Rama, Riyandi, first, first, yes, I am, yes, I am, oh, okay, 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 I have a question, uh, uh, this study was conducted with, uh, 37 students yes. in the seventh, yes. seventh semester yeah. for pre-service teachers. Yes. And at the uh, and at the conclusion, we saw the perception of uh, convergence education. Mm -hmm. And pre-service teachers recognized that it was interesting and interesting. Uh, but complex and inefficient. Yeah. I think Korea will be similar. Mm. So we will other countries be the same? Yes. Yes, of yes. course. We, we, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm. Okay, so my question is, uh, what is uh, what is it that prospective teachers uh, perceived less than in incumbent uh, teachers and why yeah. did they uh, why did they result yeah okay uh. okay thank you yeah so uh, we 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 are conducted uh, for three years about uh, stem in indonesia so uh, student many students have uh, uh, conducted research for her thesis and for uh, her publication as uh, the the result of the uh, studies. So uh, in uh, COVID-19 situation, it is uh, a student have uh, um, trouble, yeah? have, have a trouble, have a constraint to conduct uh, the research because uh, almost of school is closed. Yeah. Ah. The school is uh, online, <clears throat> online uh, learning. Ah. So, but uh, student is still interested to research mm. about the STEM. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, we compare with the teachers, with the teachers, yeah, because we have uh, addressed, uh, addressing a questionnaire and distributed to students and to uh, teachers. So about uh, teacher is still interest also, uh, it's the same with a uh, 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 student. Uh, pers perspective uh, teachers, yeah. So, uh, uh, is it is uh, the the main point is how to uh, conduct research in COVID nineteen era. So it is it is difficult. Is but uh, maybe um, the last presentation is is possible if we conduct uh, uh, online 
uh, online mm. uh, manner. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, so this is uh, the one. So, mm. but a student is still uh, interest to mm. uh, STEM uh, research. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I got it. Thank you for answer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. Is there any questions? No. I think the presentation is uh, presentations are perfect. I think. Okay. And can I ask, ask you uh, ask the two third presenters? Third. No, there is no third presenters. Presenter. No. No. Ah, no. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, mm. I don't know. Right. Okay, and um, so second presenter, second presenter, Alfie, 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 I have a question. Okay, uh, uh, ah, uh, your presentation is a study that analyzes the improvement of uh, creativity, showing fluency, flex, fle flexibility, and originality, and sophistication in graphs, graphs. It was interesting to see the research appearing different, uh, differently for each subject. However, only 17 samples were used, 17, 17 samples. So uh, is this value statistically significant? Running the SP, SPSS program should have at least 30, 30 samples and at least uh, 50. If you need to clean the data, data, cleaning the data. So, what do you think about the reliability of your data? Okay, uh, thank you for uh, your question. Uh, hopefully, uh, this research uh, will help without uh, any. What I say? Um, any feature or statistical uh, calculation. Uh, this is a descriptive, uh, descriptive analysis study. With the small sample size, mm -hmm. I can research uh, for about uh, for three or four months. Uh, so, uh, to see, uh, to look for student improvement in their uh, design of product with 4D frame and the product itself. So uh, in, in the abstract and the paper of uh, my study, it's not included any statistical uh, calculation. Uh, so I say that it's not, stati not statistically, uh, statistically Mm, significant. Mm. There is any tendency. Ah, to... okay. You got a tendency. Yeah. A oh, good job. You did a good job. Okay. Okay. Thank you for answering. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Feel free. Feel free questions. For everything and for anything. I have a question, Rin, Riandi. Oh, okay. Aida, 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 Kanya, Kanyawati. Yeah, oh. yes. How can I call you your name? Ida. Ida, Ida. Oh, Ida. Okay. Good name. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I am asked to uh, Mr. Riandi. <laughs> Riandi. Okay, uh, Mr. Riandi, I think the uh, 
in Indonesia, I think I have the, some difficult for the curriculum. How to uh, how to uh, implement this uh, curriculum uh, for uh, STEM education? Uh, any any uh, any uh, redesign or any uh, strategy? How to the implement the STEM education uh, with the curric curriculum in Indonesia? Okay, uh, can I answer the question uh, directly? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for uh, what? What is the strategy? How to the uh, implementation the the uh, STEM education in uh, in the learning learning yeah. in uh, school? I think uh, junior or high school about the curriculum in Indonesia. Uh, uh, maybe this is uh, uh, we have a national curriculum. So if uh, we we want to integrate, yeah, between uh, for example mathematics and science yes. and also mm -hmm. technology, it is uh, maybe so difficult. But we have uh, we have uh, choice um, some strategy. Yeah, we we can uh, generate uh, thematic. Yeah, for uh, some uh, topic, thematic, th with uh, the thematic uh, topic. For example, if we want to uh, teach uh, about the uh, physics, yeah, uh, for example, uh, pressure, and uh, maybe uh, in biology also, uh, we can uh, uh, teaching about um, uh, blood uh, pressure yeah, or uh, circulatory system. Uh, student uh, can integrate with uh, physics and technology. How, if someone have a difficulty on, uh, uh, for example, this, uh, this is about uh, circulatory system. Yeah, maybe student can have idea. Yeah, to make uh, design engineering to help uh, to help uh, people when uh, they have uh, some disease like that. So this is uh, we can choose um, uh, uh, thematic. Yeah, uh, we can thema, thema yeah, by thematic, by thematic. Uh, for example, uh, that uh, uh, circulation, how to measure about uh, diameter, and uh, how to use technology to make uh, uh, such as um, imitation heart. Imitation arts or anything, I think. Yeah, this is uh, possible. Yeah, we have uh, we we integrate um, uh, several top uh, several topic or several uh, competency. Yeah, to make uh, in one uh, activities of our student. Thank you, Pariandi. Yeah, you are come with that. okay. Do you work at the same university, Liandi and Ida? Same yes. university, Universitas Pendi di Khan? Yes, yes, yes at same. the same uh. university. We, we are at the same university. Ah. Uh, and the same the same faculty. Aha. Uh -huh. But uh, you have a different strategy. Different strategy. Right? Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. they, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, same major? Same major? No. Um, uh -huh. I am physics department. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Physics uh, department. Uh, ah. I'm from physics. Yeah. Physics department. Yes. And I'm yeah. But me from biology education. Aha. Uh -huh. Different subject. Yes, different subject. So okay. but, is, but uh, different subject, but this is uh, one subject is uh, science education. So maybe this is uh, separated with uh, physics education and biology education. Oh, ho, I yeah. see. I got it. I yeah. got it. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion of uh, the um, STEAM education and convergence education? It means I have a question. What's the definition uh, of uh, STEAM education and 
convergence education. Mm -hmm. Riyandi and Ida, so uh, and all other uh, audiences, all other participants. Hmm? Uh, I uh, uh, I'm worried about the definition of STEAM education and convergence education. Uh, uh, I'd like to know the definition of uh, STEAM STEM education. And, STEM and compound education, or this is the compound. Convergence education. Convergence. Convergence. Okay. Is it same? And do you know what I mean? Um, oh, I, I, I don't understand about the compound education. So maybe you can uh, explain. Uh, convergence. Convergence. Oh, convergence. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Rami, Rami, Rami. <laughs> Uh, uh, first of all, thank you so much for um, the, uh, the play. So maybe because I'm from Indonesia as well, and I'm studying in South Korea mm -hmm. uh, in Kangwon National University, maybe I would like to say about the perspective of the convergence education in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think in Indonesia itself, we don't really use the term of convergent education. Mm -hmm. So we uh, only use STEM education. So uh, I think from my perspective, uh, we only use the definition of uh, STEM educations, but maybe in the future, we use also uh, that term. But until now, from what I see uh, from both countries, uh, we still mm. use the same uh, STEM only. Okay. Uh, that's mm. only what I know based okay. on the both perspective. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> okay, we have to do research for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, mm -hmm. okay, mm. okay. Is there any questions? I have a question. Okay, uh, I have a question to Iruma. Oh, yeah. Iruma. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Hi, hello. Uh, mm. uh, we have three uh, present from Indonesia. So yes. you participate all of the present, right? <laughs> yes. So you're very, I respect your researching and studying ability. Wow. Thank you. So <laughs> what is the same thing of three researches you, you can think, you think? Oh, okay, actually, all is come from different researches, STEM, and uh, proposes. So for the ALFI uh, cases, it come from our center, for the Prime Indonesia Center, in STEM Center UP. We develop, develop some program there, and then uh, we also research about our program. We want to know the achievement of the program. Mm -hmm. So we research about the creativity, because from uh, for different, uh, we can try to trigger student creativity and enhance student creativity because they're creating something. So we, if we want to make some people or some student creative, so we should ask them to create something. So we develop the program in uh, STEM Center UP in Indonesia that have a collaboration with 4D Frame in Korea. And then mm -hmm. for the next research is research that uh, uh, have a foundation or have a grant from uh, graduate school studies mm -hmm. that related to the students' perspective towards the STEM integration. Actually, that we want to create a new program or new educational program related to the science education program that we actually, we want to learn from Korea and also Japan about how to develop the uh, pre-service teacher or teachers uh, program to be ready uh, to the field. So this is, is actually our result. Result is only related to the first of uh, our preliminary data. So we want to conduct, we want to try to know about uh, the please have the student the perception about STEM, about science, what kind of learning strategy and methodology, especially in this pandemic era. So we want to cre recreate or uh, enhance our uh, program, course program. And then mm -hmm. for the 
third research, it's uh, we have a grant from our governments, national governments, mm -hmm. and it is related to the STEM education when we want to actually want to spread out about the STEM education to the all teachers in Indonesia. So actually for this year, we actually our scope area is in Java and also Sumatra, but because of the pandemic, we still do it in Java using online system. Mm. So that's about the research. So actually, we, 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 we are start from the students, also pre-service teachers, and also to the teachers, actually. We have a different levels of research. Oh, that's mm. all. Thank you for your answering. Okay, you did okay. your picture. Okay. Mm. Mm. Linda, uh, Riandi's major is uh, biology. And Ida's major is uh, uh, physics. How about Iruma? What's your major? I'm, I'm same with uh, Ida Kanyawati. I'm in from physics education. <laughs> ah, physics education. Yes, okay. we are from, yeah. Ah, ah okay. Uh, uh. Any other questions? Okay. Uh. Uh, mm. uh, 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 Hungary, Peter, 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 where is the Peter from Hungary? Oh, I think he's not here. Oh, he's not here. Uh. Okay. Uh, Alfie, Alfie, what's your major? My major is science education. Right now. Uh, science education. Oh, okay, good. And, uh, do you have a uh, regular curriculum uh, for STEAM education? It means uh, the STEAM education is uh, containing for national curriculum in your country? So actually we have a national curriculum, but it, isn't, it didn't mention uh, directly about STEM education or STEAM education, but however, all, all teachers when try to apply the curriculum in the school, they, they are really convenient where they are integrated STEAM or STEM in their school's learning. Uh -huh. so actually we, the government didn't mention that the curriculum is embedded in STEM integration or it's STEM in, uh, in education. However, the teacher are really enjoying uh, when they are trying to implement the STEM mm -hmm. education based mm -hmm. on the curriculum national. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, in our country, uh, even though the science, uh, we uh, uh, the um, major is uh, different. Uh, as, uh, it means uh, physics and uh, chemistry and biology and uh, earth science. So very uh, uh, divided by majors. So uh, uh, how about Indonesia? Yeah, we we we. we... Uh, have uh, this in Indonesia, especially in uh, my university. Uh, the major, the major of, uh, for example, uh, physics education, biology education, chemistry education. Uh, it is a uh, uh, different department. So this is the different department, but uh, it's in uh, the same faculty. So this is a uh, separated. Not, mm. uh, but we have also a science education. So we have uh, in science we have uh, four uh, uh, four department. I think this is a science education, 
uh, uh, biology education, physics education, and chemistry education. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay, same uh, same situation. So we uh, we don't uh, we uh, we did we didn't watch the first presentation. So uh, uh, in this session, uh, there is uh, no first presenter. So do you do you see the first presentation? Nanye, Nanye, Nanye. So. Uh, we do better. Uh, the, we oh oh oh. Uh, this time is uh, seven twenty five. So, uh, closing time. Time's up. Uh, okay. So, okay. Uh, uh, this time um, um uh, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, see you in the main session. See you again. Okay, see you again. Thank you. See you at Zoom number one. See you again. Okay, see you at Zoom number one. Thank you. Okay, see you. Thank you. Thank you for attending. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you.